Steve, you and I talk about this a lot, something that we're about to talk about for this video. It's genuinely something that I think I'm flooded with on a pretty consistent basis as far as people asking or just being curious about the fact that we both grew up here. Right. So I moved here when I was nine. He claims to have been born here, but you know, that's always up yeah, for discussion. Winter of uh, 1987. We won't talk about the year that I was born anyway, <laughs> but I thought it might be fun for us to just spend a few minutes talking about what the heck it was like growing up here in Vegas. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but every client that I meet asks me directly, what was it like? What did you do for fun? Where mm -hmm. did you go? I'm gonna ask you then, what was it like growing up here in Las Vegas? I think the easiest way to, to describe it was kind of like a watered down or diluted theme park. That's what Vegas felt like for me. Uh, I could not agree more. Yeah. I think a part of it comes from the fact that, you know, I grew up, a little bit before 1987, but not a ton, 1987. The city was just at the beginning of that boom, the 90s boom that happened when there were so many people moving here from all over the country and it was like we had been discovered. Right. So prior to that, I mean, there wasn't really a whole lot to do for kids and families. Right. And even even in the heyday of, of all the people who were running Las Vegas trying to make it family friendly, it still wasn't very family friendly outside right. of the Strip, right? Theme park is absolutely the way yeah. we had to go. And, and if you think about it, like this one's not here anymore, but like MGM used to have their own, it felt like Knott's Berry Farm. Like mm -hmm. I had so many memories going there that literally I confused Knott's Berry Farm with, with that. So because they were so similar. What was it, what was it called again? The uh, garden? I don't remember, but like they had like a log ride going down the water. Yeah. Like, it was, it had the was, Superman yeah, ride that you could fly on that I was always too afraid yeah, to go on. My cousin yeah. Peter Pants on that oh, thing. Oh, so. yeah, I'm sure she's watching. Yeah. I'm sorry that sorry that, that happened to you. <laughs> I thought it might be fun for us to talk about some of the things that are still here so that if you're considering moving to Vegas and you have kids and you want a little bit of that nostalgic yeah. experience, um, just from our childhood to you, I'd love to be able to pass that on and let you know that there are some things still standing beyond five minutes ago because you know we all know that the Las and, Vegas and, landscape changes. And so many of them are actually like better. They're better and they're yeah, cool still. So my favorite place hands down was the skating rink. I mean if you watch anything on my social media or on my channel you'll know that I do love to roller skate um, and so we had a couple of these places around town called Crystal Palace Skating Center. Do you know the song? Oh yeah. Crystal Palace Skating Center, the skate of the art. Yes. Yep. So they, um, there. I think there's still two locations, but one of the locations was recently purchased by Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. He changed Ever the name, heard of him? and he um, he opened it up under a new name called Skate Rock City. What I find interesting though is I recently went to Skate Rock City expecting it to be completely renovated. Oh, the, exact the exact same carpet. No, it's not. The exact same. That carpet has been around 900 since, years. Since, yeah, 1,000 years. 900 years. It's insane. Hill skates if with the that orange, carpet brown, could talk, orange. It would talk stuff. about a lot of makeout oh, sessions gosh. that I had in the back corner of that place. Man. Like, they used to do sleepovers where your children, literally, parents in Las Vegas would drop their kids off and bounce for the evening and they would pick our, their children back up at 7 a.m. the next day. My parents were very controlling so that never happened. I family, clearly so. was yeah. in a different situation yes. and yes, was making were. out with boys in the corner. We've held not only my own birthday uh, parties there but my kids' birthday parties there and it's definitely still rad. And when she says skating, we also, I mean, I remember, especially in the holidays, mm -hmm. going to the ice skating rinks. Yeah, yeah. That would be at like the, the casinos, like the Fiesta, Fiesta Henderson, or Fiesta you know. Rancho, yeah. Fiesta Rancho. Mm -hmm. And then there was one that was off the Santa Fe too. was over mm -hmm. there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, it, that was kind of always a cool vibe. And then now they do that at the Cosmopolitan. Yeah, they have that on the roof, rooftop skating during mm -hmm. the holidays. And then, you know, again, Skate Rock City is open. Um, downtown has a downtown Las Vegas gold spike a skating experience. Yeah. That is definitely not for children. So if you want to relive your days, you want to meet me downtown, Town. I'm down there almost every time they host it once a month with a cocktail in my hand, skating and enjoying my life. So That's awesome. um, skating rinks were a big part, of, big part of my childhood. It sounds like they were for you too. Yeah, I had flat feet, so they weren't as uh, memorable and as enjoyable. And as no makeout sessions, you, so yeah. that's not fun. Yeah. Yeah. One of the coolest things you can do as a kid, especially if you're into like knights in shining armor, is going to the Excalibur <laughs> and going to medieval times. It's not medieval times. It's it's medieval times in other cities, but it's like medieval. No, medieval it's medieval times. Time. I'm just thinking of. Cable Guy, and I can't get that out of my mind. It's oh, like my favorite movie. You love Jim Carrey. I do. Let's hear it. Let's do that. Do it. No, I'm not gonna do, do it. it. Just do it. No, because you want to. I, I am really upset with you right now. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> when Spock attack someone else. All right, go. Okay. We grew up when, when there was nothing to do off the strip, yeah. which was basically always. We yeah. used to go to the strip. So I can vividly remember being dropped off the strip by myself, mm -hmm. meeting boys as usual okay. at 14 years old, uh, running up and down the strip with my best friends. And we would go to the Midway Games at the Excalibur next to what you believe to be the Medieval, medieval Times. Times, which yeah. is the Tournament of the Kings. Yeah. So Circus Circus was awesome. Um, the, the Adventure Dome's still there yeah. better than ever. I think they just put in a new ride. 
recently yeah, too. Yeah, new ride, and it's yeah. and it's been polished up pretty nicely. I know that yeah. Circus Circus was purchased um, last year, so I think that they're doing some renovations, trying to make it a little bit more approachable and you know yeah. shine that puppy up. So, how many of those pink and white hats from the Circus Circus? You know what I'm talking about? The, the almost do. like paper hats, yes. basically. How yeah. many of those did you have? <sighs> Not very many, honestly. You don't have, yeah. you don't have pictures I think of you wearing them? I think I've gone more as an adult than I did as a kid. And so. I have had the reverse experience, okay. just because I was worried that I was going to run into those boys that I was chasing on the strip at 14 years old. Uh, no, but truly, we, we did love it. And you can still enjoy Tournament of the Kings, which is awesome. You can enjoy Circus Circus. Adventure Dome is a new addition in the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And it's been great. Yeah. It's gotten better and better. It's, it's Fright Dome when it's the Halloween season, yeah. which is really fun and ghoulish and um, kind of scary. But I love it. Do you take your kids up there at all? Yeah. Yeah, actually, my brother works at Circus Circus. He's like nice. the the head painter. So if does he you scream any, like that? Any, when any he's crappy like, stuff? Uh, like, let me know and I'll get on it. We'll get him. We'll get him to clean yeah. that spot up yeah. real quick. Yeah. Midway games are still open, so if you're looking for that nostalgic experience with your kids, if you want to have a little bit of a Las Vegas gal, Battleborn Steve childhood like experience yeah. for yourself, you can check out the Excalibur and check out Circus Circus. One of my favorite places to go as a kid was Wet and Wild. Yes, yes, absolutely. How many horrible sunburns did you get at Wet and Wild? Oh, I burned so fast with so many. It was we, on the strip, by the yeah. way. So let's just talk about that for a minute. The Sahara. Right at the Sahara. Boom. Right on the strip. Yeah. Talking the hottest days of the year. Again, dropped off yeah. and picked up 17 to 12 hours later. It's 12 to 17 hours later. It's a, a hot mess is what I think it was back in the what day. What was the tallest Right, Sir, called Der Stuka. Der Stuka. Der Stuka. Yeah. And did you ever go on it? I did. I did not. Yeah. I absolutely did not. No, I didn't go on that okay. thing. I'm scared of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's now been moved off the strip. It's no longer located well, on the strip. Well, because it was gone for a while. Forever, yeah. And it was really sad. Like, it stopped, what, like early 2000s? We did not have a, a water park in Las Vegas, which is a travesty because it's 9,000 degrees here. Yeah. You need, we need to have a water park, if not more. And now we've got two. Yeah, we didn't have them for like 15, 15 years Long or time. so. Yeah, so it's yeah. now off the strip located in the southwest part of town. If you're looking for a home, because you might want to do that with us, definitely let us know if you want to live near the water parks. So you can take advantage of that. Yeah. They do a lot of really cool locals deals. And then Cowabunga Bay is located in Henderson yeah, as well. Right so, next to Henderson, Henderson Hospital. So if you get hurt at Cowabunga Bay, you can just, just roll right on over to the hospital. Yeah. So either way, we've got you covered. Um, I, I actually always loved uh, trying to become like a like a race car driver. So mini, anything go kart oriented, like mm -hmm. Mini Grand Prix, is like a Vegas staple. Absolutely right off the 95. Yeah, that and, place is awesome. And it used to be really far away when the city had not spread out yeah. and, and built out. But there now it's right smack have in the middle yeah. of the city because everything's grown. It's but, maybe 15 yeah. minutes from the strip. So Go-karts, it's slides, it's uh, arcade games. It's kind of yeah. like Scandia, right? Yeah. There are also other options for the little mini speed um, go-kart rides as well down on yeah. Fremont Street. Yeah, I just found out about that. It's like up up top kind of. Neonopolis. Yeah, yeah, Neonopolis. That's yeah. really cool. So locals actually go down there as well. And I haven't been there, but one of our friends just told us about it. So we'll have to go check it out so we don't have to drive all the way out to Mini Grand Prix. Maybe yeah. we can take advantage of it while having a happy hour. It's, still, it's still fun, though. I'll still go to Mini Grand Prix. How many birthday parties did you have at Mini Grand Prix? Zero. But how many times have I been there since I was an adult? 9,000, 9,000. I'm, I'm a little burnt on Mini Grand Prix, but I, if I do have a need for speed, I know where to go. That's yeah. faux show. One of my favorite places to take the kids and that I used to go to as a kid myself was the Ethel M Chocolate Factory. And I just found out that you've never been. You're just trying to, I thought we weren't gonna tell everyone. I'm invalidating that. your Battleborn status every time okay, we do a video. what's it gonna be then? It's gonna just be Steve, straight up Steve. Okay, Steve Hi, from Vegas. I'm Steve. Steve from Vegas. I'm from Vegas. So Ethel M is actually genuinely one of my favorites is not only is the free chocolate, they do a really cool- Oh, there's free chocolate? Yeah, why have I'm you not been there? Hello? Today. I'm gonna go today. Um, Ethel M gives you a free chocolate sample. You can walk through and look at the factory of how it's made. They've got a gorgeous cactus garden outside and in the holiday season, they do hot cocoa. I think they have carolers, carolers come through and they also have a really nice light display. So I love it. I don't know what happened to this video. I have no idea if you're gonna watch all of it, but this has been really fun talking about Las Vegas yeah. and growing up here. I think we just start calling these Steve and Lacey Rants. Banter Rants, yeah. Banter yeah. Rants. I think the one thing we haven't really covered is the outdoor stuff. I know that you're a huge outdoorsy yeah. person. I was not. I was inside doing dance classes and theater and things, and apparently making out with boys at the Crystal Palace Skating Center. So yeah. tell me about your outdoor stuff that you did when you were a kid. Um, I mean, there's so much. I mean, I, we talked about a lot of it in other videos, like whether it's like hiking or camping. Bing. So definitely check those out. Bing. But um, Vegas is such like a desert city. So what that implies as like a young kid mm -hmm. is there's a lot of like free space you can go do and explore and stuff. And you can get dirty. Yeah, like whether you're building forts or building jumps for your dirt bike or your um, mountain bike. Um, or in my case, we paintball a lot. Yeah. There were a lot of areas in town we could do that. There um, still are though. That's what's cool to are. know. So if you're still looking for that, 
have a Stephen Lacey version of your childhood as an adult or take your kids through what it was like to grow up here in Vegas, you can still take them to do those Absolutely. things. Absolutely. There's obviously designated areas to do that or you can just go off into the desert like we do and just find a spot that just nobody's spot. nobody's discovered yet yeah. and, and go make a mess and have a good time. <laughs> as long as you clean up the mess and you're very yes. conservative and mm -hmm. we make sure that we're taking care of our land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So, but outdoorsy and you're, you're a big camper and things like that too. Yeah. Camping, hiking, a lot of outdoor riding bikes, shooting guns. Uh, you, you just yeah. have real wild, wild west. <laughs> I love it. I did not do as much outdoors but I'm, I was so grateful to have you as a friend because you introduced me to a lot of things that I never had exposure to and then my kids get to be a part of it as well. So, cool. hence the reason we've gone out of town together and we've done a lot of like the outdoors. She did stuff. try to go off-roading one time and got her car stuck. I did, and really we have bad. video of that, I believe. That really we, we do have video. We do have video. We're gonna we show, I think I have the video. video labeled in my drive as Lacey Stuck. Yeah, it was yeah, really bad. That was so bad. really bad, actually. Yeah. We're just maybe not gonna show it because it's probably one of my most embarrassing moments. Thank you for spending time talking no to me about growing up in Vegas today. If you wanna hear more about growing up in Vegas or if you have another idea for us for video, please do us a favor and comment below. And while you're down there, subscribe, read the description. There's a link in the description for a lot of our channels, including Mr. Battleborn. Steve here. Let's give him some love, give him some support. And again, just in case you guys don't know it, we sell houses for a living. This is what we do. This is how we make money. This is how we are able to come online and give you all this great content about living in Vegas. So if you're thinking about moving to Vegas, if you're even considering it, if you know a friend who wants to move here, if frankly you just think we're rad and you want to tell people about us, click that link, let us know, and share the channel. We really appreciate your time and we love that you guys are actually sitting through this entire crazy video. Yeah, if, you made it, if you made it this far, you're we, a rock We love star. you. You're a rock we love star. you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.